Happy New Year and welcome to Council Recap. We take the content of the City Council meetings and give you the breakdown. I'm Cedric Weldon. Let's get started. In this Council meeting, we open with a presentation on the Los Angeles Dodgers Foundation, given by Kawana Bowie and Jerry Iriarte of the Community Services Department. This presentation discussed the continued efforts with the Foundation to make recreational sports an affordable option to families and presented a proposal from the Los Angeles Dodgers Foundation to plan for the construction of a new baseball field at Jim Thorpe Park to enhance the experience for locals. Next will be an update on SoCal Edison AB205, presented by Ron Gales. During this portion of the meeting, Gales went into details on the proposed fixed charge and answered Council's questions in regards to how customer income would and would not play a role in their future electricity bills. This charge must be authorized by July 1, 2024, and the first version of the fixed charge could be implemented at the earliest in 2025. There was one resolution this week, resolution number 8448, setting forth an exception to the 180-day waiting period to hire a CalPERS retired Anyutant in accordance with the government code. The waiver allows for an employer to hire a retired Anyutant to perform work of a limited duration. The resolution was rejected by Council. Next, Council will receive and approve the bid for project number 24-06, the Alley Improvement Project CDBG funds. There were two ordinances this week. Ordinance number 2247 had a second reading and approved the amended section 17.29.040 of chapter 17.29 to be in compliance with the housing element by removing constraints to residential and mixed-use developments and improving an addendum to the Hawthorne General Plan Environmental Impact Report. California housing element law requires cities to identify and remove constraints upon the maintenance, improvement, or development of housing for all income levels in their housing elements and also provide a program to remove such constraints where appropriate and legally possible. Ordinance number 2248, a first reading, establishing regulations and requirements for a municipal message center network, amending the Hawthorne Municipal Code regarding the same and making a finding of an exemption from CEQA in connection therewith. Municipal message centers developed and operated in coordination with the city would allow the city to alert the motorists of emergency situations, large public events, major roadblocks and accidents, and at times heavy traffic. This ordinance will be brought back for a second reading and vote for an adoption. There were three items on the city manager's consent calendar this week, which saw the approval of the following. Project number 23-04, progress payment number two in the amount of $267,611.39 due to Grubcom Inc. of Baldwin Park for the 2023 drain improvement project. Next, council discussed annexation of unincorporated regions within Hawthorne Region 2 between Crenshaw and 135th. Annexing this area will promote orderly growth, enhance development opportunities, and consolidate services within the city. The estimated financial impact of this annexation is approximately $23,000. City manager brought it to council for permission to fill the paperwork with the county and be able to move forward with the negotiations in this area. And lastly, council approved a food services agreement between the city of Hawthorne and the county of Los Angeles to provide prepared meals to feed jail inmates for the Hawthorne Police Department. That's all from the meeting this week. Thank you for joining us for Council Recap. Remember, you can watch City Council meetings in their entirety by going to www.youtube.com and searching for Hawthorne Community Television. See you next time.